Last up, this is the third of our three for-profit social entrepreneurs and innovators. We're going to hear from Llewellyn about loss. Thank you. My name is Llewellyn Priest, and I created Boss, a software system that is the solution to these challenges of inclusion, those government regulations mandating the use of minority women small businesses on government procurement contracts they are comp competing for. Boss turns those challenges into business opportunities. Let me start by talking about procurement. Recognize this picture? It's been in the news. It's a bridge over the Ohio River, but it's also $4.4 billion of government procurement opportunities. What do you think this guy is thinking? Well, you better be thinking, I got to call Mel the Prime on this and tell him I can work on this bridge. Government procurement is a convoluted system where who and what you know is more important than what you do. And there are great businesses that help these three players navigate through those murky waters. And I tell you all this because I want you to know that Boss is not in competition, but actually offers a service they do not provide. We've solved the nightmare known as inclusion. And what do you think this guy's thinking? He's a minority small business owner. He's very good at what he does, but he's had a lot of hard time getting opportunities. He knows there's inclusion targets on this project, and he sees this as his ticket in. But what, Mel's the prime, what Mel is the prime contractor thinking is he hates this inclusion. It's a headache, cost him time and money. But what Mel doesn't know is this guy on his bid would have won him that contract, but he'll never meet this guy. Welcome to the lose-lose world of procurement. On the surface, though, it seems easy, right? Government tries to figure out how to level that playing field, sets those targets, primes meet it, and economic prosperity, but by no means. Inclusion today is a set of siloed solutions by agencies, prime contractors trying to figure out which silo to fit in, lose millions in lost bid contracts, and, well, small businesses just lose. To give you a magnitude, 1% of women-owned businesses represents about $3.3 billion of lost revenue for them. And while I think we probably all agree with the intentions of inclusion, we're in a 10-year low in inclusion utilization, which impacts not only just those small businesses, their surrounding communities, but everyone in this room. But what if it was easy? What if there was a system that supported inclusion, that saw those small businesses, not by the color of their skin, but by what they do and how well they do it? And what if those prime contractors could find them tactically fitting into their businesses? And what if the agencies could just push a button and see compliance reports? Well, that is boss. It's an integrated community providing transparency into the process, easy access to those resources, in other words, business opportunities for all of them. The agencies do get those one button push reports. Primes can find those small businesses tactically. And the small businesses, the most important thing is they'll begin to finally trust the system that was built for them. We're a subscription business. We look at our two customers as primes and those small businesses. We vetted these fees with them. They say this is more than fair based on this time and money savings alone. So by now you know that we're unique. You know we our clients. You know we're a subscription model. I also want you to know that we're what I like to term TV simple. Really, really complicated on the middle, really easy to use on the outside. Because we take all that government data and use a lot of complicated, boring stuff to, to make it a simple user experience. We've, we've demoed Boss in front of the primes and the agencies and those small businesses an overwhelming positive response. These projections are for the state of Washington, but as you probably can realize by now, this is a 50-state problem, so Boss is clearly a sustainable business model. Right now, we're in conversations, actually, over the last two weeks with one of those agencies, and I'd like to launch a pilot program, and we need about 300 to cover the next 12 months. I think this is the perfect way to begin to prove the metal of the system. And finally, I want you to know something about my values. I worked in the third world with this woman, learned this amazing truth, watched it transform impoverished communities. Boss was built on that same value. 
it provides that same sustainable economic environment for our troubled communities. The time is right. The strategy is solid. Help me build, boss. Thank you. So one of the awesome things about this evening is how much you get to learn. All right, so all, so far we've already talked about social barriers, financial literacy, minority procurement, childhood obesity. Pretty awesome. <clears throat> Not quite halfway.